As the novel coronavirus spreads and evolves, it's showing that it can impact more than just the lungs. One of the latest complications to appear is blood clots. A new Dutch study has found that over 30 percent of severely ill coronavirus patients develop issues with blood clots. Doctors say these complications can be extremely dangerous and can lead to strokes and even death. I've been running low, I've been running. After two weeks of battling the coronavirus in hospital, Broadway actor Nick Cordero had his right leg amputated due to blood clot complications. Messages of support are pouring in, with fans fearing this could spell the end of his career. In the wake of the news, a doctor warned that coronavirus complications have become increasingly far-ranging. It's like with SARS, swine fever, or H1N1, which could all cause coagulation all over the body. It's quite dangerous because blood clots don't just form in the arteries, they also form in the veins. They can appear anywhere in the upper or lower body, especially when they form in the legs or in the lungs. Blood clots can lead to death. A Dutch study on 184 intensive care coronavirus patients found that over 30 percent developed thrombotic complications. That's a much higher rate than the 5 to 10 percent seen in other patients in intensive care. Experts say blood clots in the lungs, legs and blood vessels can cause strokes, heart problems and even death. Patients with arrhythmia have to be especially careful. Seniors, people with obesity, patients on medication, people who are immobile for long periods of time, people who stand or sit for prolonged periods, as well as patients with immune conditions or with congenital gene problems could all develop blood clotting complications. New knowledge on COVID-19 is discovered every day. According to a Chinese news report, two frontline medical professionals in Hubei province developed liver damage after contracting the disease. While both have survived, the whole bodies have turned black. It's just two cases, but they show how much there is still to be learned about the virus.